Hello, and welcome to Light Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us are the Workos TD05. This is an 18650 powered everyday carry tactical flashlight. They retail this on Amazon for $46.99. Mine had a 30% off coupon, bringing the price down to $32. Not bad, represents an amazing value. Comes in a simple yellow and white box that I'm used to seeing. TD05, there you go. Took everything out, let's see what we get. So in the box, we get the star of the show, the TD05, nice. We get a USB to Type-C charging cable, a nice extra length to it. Always welcome to see that. And then we have a carry lanyard and two extra O-rings. Would like to see a holster, but we didn't get a holster with this. That'd have been great. And then we have a manual, the TD05. We'll look at the English side here. Illustration. You got a little paragraph there if you want to freeze frame on that. Got okay, different modes. We have eco, low, medium, high, turbo, strobe, and SLS. I'll try to show all those in case I miss something. That's why I'm zooming in. We have some specifications. Again, I'll try to cover most of those. There you go. And then we have power indication, which I just love that. Uh, so when the battery starts dumping, you know, if it's orange, it's about time to start charging it before it goes red. So you get to high output, otherwise it starts to throttle. Going to the next page, we have battery installation, recharging, operating instructions, different things you can do. Okay, common questions and answers. There you are. And then over here we have troubleshooting and maintenance. And then down here at the bottom, we do have their contact information, which I'll zoom in on. There you go. Cool. So we're done with that. Let's get to the flashlight, the fun part. All right, let's put the stuff out of the way. So the Workos TD05. Um, right away, it's a great all-around everyday carry. Uh, it has a very aggressive grip. Um, if you can look, it's really deep neurals here. It feels really, real grippy. Um, and that's without gloves. So with gloves would be perfect. Uh, without gloves, it might feel a little uncomfortable for some people, but uh, me, not too bad. It just it is an aggressive cut there. Uh, keep that in mind when you buy this flashlight. Uh, that that will be a nice deep grooves there. Again, great if you're using gloved hands. So there you are. Most people probably will when they're using this light. Uh, so yeah, let's go over dimensions of the TD05. Let me just zoom it on down. Get up close and personal here. All right, so for length, we have 5 and 7 sixteenths of an inch, or 138 millimeters. We have a head diameter here of 1 and 1 sixteenth of an inch, or 27 millimeters. Tail is 7 eighths of an inch, or 22 millimeters. The entire package weighs 83 grams with the battery. Not bad, good weight. I like that, so it's about half the weight is in the battery. Let's do a size comparison. Bring this back up. All right, I'll put this in the middle. Let's see what we can bring out. Uh, I gotta go even higher on the. Let's see if I get it all in the frame. Yes, I can. All right. So for different things, uh, give you just a general idea for its size. I always have like a small, double A powered flashlight. This is the Ace Beam Pokelet, double A. Runs on double A battery, of course. And for batteries, I have an 1860 flat top. Cool thing about the TD05 is it will run on a flat top battery an unprotected button top, or a protected button top. So that's awesome. Next, I have a 21700, which it will not run on. It's a little too big. <laughs> and then we have the awesome TS-22 by Workos. This is a great flashlight. This thing's a beast. Uh, magnet base, I gotta be careful. I might grab that battery, but uh, this one shoots out some heavy light. Big flutter, so. But that's a 21700 power. Just to give you an idea, it's a little a little shorter, but it's definitely stockier. I used to think this grip was aggressive until I felt this grip. This grip is more aggressive than this one, if you can imagine. <laughs> but there you go, you get the idea for size. I think I got it all pictured there. There you are, perfect. Okay, cool, let's go over features with TD05. And I'll show you, I went outside with it, a pretty cool video I took. Um, this thing has amazing uh, beam pattern with a, a great throw and spill. So yeah, and focusing on that, on the front, it looks like we have a, a crenellated bezel here. Very simple bezel. Uh, going to the front glass, uh, you can see it's like a, they say it's toughened mineral glass. 
but it also has coatings, anti-reflective coating there. It's got a purple hue to it. We also have our orange peel reflector, and the orange peel is actually uh, real light. It's not heavy, um, like aggressive. It's very light, lightly done. So it does produce a really good beam pattern, which uh, you'll get to see. Down in the bottom, we have our LED, and that was the Luminous uh, SFT40 that was printed on the box with the 5000K color temperature. Now it's a nice uh, daylight color. Uh, looks really good in person. So it's not too not too bluish white. I like that. It's more white, more neutral. So going to the body here, we have our typical aluminum alloy body with the uh, Type 3 hard anodized finish. So that's always nice to see. Uh, nicely done. No problems there. Yeah. So we have our belt clip and hat clip. There you go. Goes right tight on the back here. It does not want to pop off easy, so that's a bonus. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Our Type-C charging port is on the back here, and it opens up, and it, this little jacket spins up out of the way. I like that. And then you can plug your charger right in there, and it takes 5-volt, 2-amp input. Now, on a almost dead battery, uh, I was reading about 1.6 amps in, so it does charge the battery fast. So it's definitely a fast charging, uh, charging circuit. And then when you're charging, you do have low mode available, and you actually turn it on by the mode switch. You don't have to actuate the tail. It automatically overrides, and you just have a low mode with the mode switch. At least you have a mode to use while you're charging it, especially if you're charging it with a power bank and you still need light source. So it is good to know if you're out there hiking, camping, and whatnot with the power banks. So yeah, that's nice. Waterproof jacket too. This uh, flashlight's rated IP68, uh, which is dustproof and waterproof. So there you are. And then, of course, we have our front uh, mode switch here. The mode switch has that red-green indicator. So let's see if I show you that. There you go. Green is good. All right. Um, so yeah, you have red. And it turns uh, red when you're charging, green when it's done. And, of course, uh, for battery status, you saw that was green to a certain percentage. Then it went to orange. And then it went to red after 50% or less. If it's flashing red, you're really in trouble. So if it's orange, it's time to charge. That's what I did. Uh, I think orange is around 3.6 volts, if I remember right. So yeah, that's, that's nice how it does that. Lights up. Um, so what this mode switch is for, um, when the flashlight is on, let's go ahead and turn it on here, you single press it to cycle the modes. So I'm single pressing it, taking me through the low, uh, different modes, eco, low, medium, and high modes. And then from on, uh, you can double quick press to access turbo. There you go, nice. Okay, we'll go back to low. And then also, if you want to access strobe and SOS modes, you triple quick press. Now I'm going to do that, so if you can't handle flashing lights, you might want to look away. So one, two, three. This is a strobe. Cycles, fast, slow. And if we do three times again, it accesses our SOS mode. Now we're in SOS. Awesome. Okay, and then single click to go back to your normal mode. Perfect. So let me bring in some cards, get my color rendering back. There we go. Perfect. All right, so what else we got here? So yeah, we got our mode switch. Pretty much, it's a nice setup. Uh, and then once you uh, select the mode you like, it has mode memory. So let's uh, set it to high. We turn the flashlight off. And of course, it remembers high. I like that. Now I'm just using the tail as a momentary. So there you go. Very cool. So that's what the mode switch is doing. Um, so yeah, going to the tail, you can see we have a spot for hook point, a lanyard spot there. I like this side here where it's two holes on each side and it's not protruding through the back. One note uh, is that the tail switch, uh, it's guarded to a point. So you can actually, on a flat surface, engage this just by hitting it. So it does stick out a little bit so you can actually bump it and turn it on with a flat surface, which is unfortunate. It needs to be recessed just a little bit. I mean, I know why they went with the oversized tail now, because it gives you the multi-action. But uh, yeah, the, this guard needs to be raised up just a little bit to help protect that. It's just letting you know that you might bump it. It won't lock on if it hits a flat surface, but it will turn on. So something to keep in mind. You might just want to do a quarter turn, and that way it won't turn on the electronic lockout that way, or manual lockout. So there you are, Nike. Turn where it get quarter turn or eighth of a turn, and it's off. So there you go. There's your lockout. Um, wish it had electronic, but that's fine. Uh, but there's a tail. Now, tail's cool. Uh, when you're in tail mode, um, momentary, it's going to use the last use mode. So right now it's using highs. So we can, a uh, cool thing is you can 
You don't have to click it on to change the mode. You can just kind of lightly hold it. So I just changed the mode to low or eco. And now I'm just actuating it. Now it does have a little bit of a springy sound to it. Now if you do double quick press uh, momentary, you can go to turbo. So, so if I go, there we go, we're in turbo. So fairly quiet without having to click it. There you go, you see how that works. So you can't access strobe from the tail, but uh, this is how you get to the turbo. Just double, double tap that tail. So there it is, um, battery. So it comes with an 18650 unprotected button top, 3000 uh, milliamp hour capacity. Um, like I said, you can use your flat top. This will fit in there no problem. Reason being is that it has a uh, spring on the tail and a spring down the flashlight so you can use it any type of 18650, which is fantastic. And I like the barrel thickness as well there. That looks really good. It's looking really nice there. Like that in the focus. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we'll put the original battery back in. But yeah, knowing it can run on those different battery types is fantastic. I also like the fact that this is cross compatible with my favorite radios. Now we're a radio channel here, and this will fit our XH Data D808 single sideband radio, same battery, unprotected button top. Um, so you can use the flashlight with that. Uh, also, the another XH Data radio, 109WB. Okay. And then we also have the new emergency radio, the D608WB. So great radios, they all use the unprotected button tops and again, perfect combinations for this flashlight. So I like to put that out there uh, if you're looking to get this flashlight. So we're uh, gonna head to the garage and we're gonna go uh, do some pictures I took and we're gonna look at some video outdoors. Uh, this thing going down about 100 meters, it's pretty neat. Uh, in person, you do see more than in the video, but uh, the video does give you a good portrayal of, of what this flashlight can do, the amount of spill it produces, which is incredible, and then the spot. So let's head to the garage where I took pictures of this flashlight in action. So here I am in the garage, 15 feet away from the garage door. The light's on turbo, this is 1800 lumens. They say it runs one and three quarter hours. I imagine that's with throttling. They don't say that, but I assume that and expect a throw of 373 meters on the setting. Now the flashlight's on high. This is 800 lumens. They said a runtime of two and a quarter hours, again, probably with throttling, and a throw of 253 meters. Now we're in a more usable mode medium, which is 300 lumens. Expect a runtime of five hours and a throw of 168 meters. 300 lumens is great for walking, uh, definitely you can see down range with this still at 168 meters and it's still producing quite a bit of spill. Now we're on low. This is 50 lumens. Expect a runtime of 35 hours and a throw of 71 meters. As you can see, they start to blend a little bit. You lose a little bit of your spill. You gain a little bit more on the spot in this mode. And now we're on our last normal mode, the eco mode. This is 10 lumens. Expect a runtime of 100 hours and a throw about 31 meters. And this eco mode is great for all around use. I find it the best when I'm tuning radios as well, which we'll do in a moment. But first we're gonna head outside and we're gonna see this flashlight in action again uh, from the distances of 30 feet up to 100 meters. Let's go check that out. Okay, I'm outside with the Workos TD05. We're gonna go to turbo 1800 lumens with a throw of 373 meters. Archway is 30 feet, tree behind it's 50 feet, tree to the left is 40 feet, sidewalk going down, there's a tree down there in the middle between these two trees. Just make it out, that's 100 feet. In person it's really clear, in the video it's pretty dim. Stop sign down there is 100 meters. And in person I can see the gazebo down there and two pine trees and that's uh, 100 meters. So we're going to bring it back down here, back to our archway, hasn't throttled yet, tree behind it 50 feet, I'm trying to get that tree down there at 100 feet, and bring it all the way back down, there we go. All 
right. Yeah, that was a cool video outdoors. Amazing spill, amazing spot. Yeah, it's a great flashlight all around for the beam pattern. So let's uh, do a desktop demo real quick, and then we'll do final thoughts on this flashlight. So got the flashlight on here. We're just going to kind of show you beam pattern on, on the low, on eco, and then we'll show a little RFI, uh, radio frequency interference for our radio tuners, because, again, radio channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let me go ahead and turn these lights off around me, and we'll cycle this light. So right now we are on eco mode. And there's a neutral light. looks good in person. It's not too blue. And if I just kind of bring it in from the edge, you can see it's quite a bit of spill. And that's what we were seeing in that video outdoors, just on a higher output scale. So right now we're on eco, but you can just see the amount of spill that's generated as I move it away. Just amazing diameter of spill there, 55 degrees. And we got our 11 degree spot. So there you go. That's amazing. I like that. So we aim it at the ceiling. We'll cycle the modes with the mode switch. Just got to... Uh, Okay, see, in the dark, holding the flashlight in my hand, um, you can definitely um, you have to reach forward more towards the top of the flashlight. I'm always afraid that it's going to get too hot, but eco, we don't have to worry about that. So we'll aim it up. So there's our high. There's turbo. Turbo's lighting up the whole room, 1800. Figured it would. Usually it does. Okay, down to low again. Eco. Low, medium, high, turbo, nice. And then we'll go back to the table, cycle the table. So you get a general idea. There's turbo. All right, perfect. And then we can bring in a radio and show you the RFI. Now, I noticed it was slight with the um, lowest setting, the echo, which is perfect. driving shot he got it back dg had a terrific look from the right corner and it came up short nothing can stop me Play up. that's how it sounded on wtam buddy hill tonight for the 76 is 24 points eight assists as they take down the Cavs, 123 to 121 Tell you what, man, I like Buddy Hill a lot. Liked him when he was coming out of Oklahoma. I think so there you go. Yeah, you want to keep it on eco, pretty much. That's all you need for a flashlight like this if you're trying to tune the radio in the dark. So yeah, there it is. So let's go and turn the lights back on. Do final thoughts on the TD05. Just switch over here. Get her color back. Yeah. So when I was looking for the switch, I was like grabbing like here, grab right by the clip and the grip. Uh, so you have to reach forward more, which is a where the heat fins are, so you got to be careful of that when you're on turbo, these do get rather hot, so something to keep in mind. Gloved hands probably don't have to worry about it, uh, but yeah, you'll have to feel there's two flat spots. There's this the Type C jacket, and you got this, so it might feel the same in the grip, so you have to figure that out when you're using it, changing modes. But when you're using the tail, not a big deal. So, all right, we'll go ahead and click this off, and we'll do final thoughts on a TD05. Bring it on down. And talk about what I like and what I think could be added and some things that I don't like about it. So uh, what I like, okay, price. Price is good. Uh, for what you're getting, uh, 32 bucks. Uh, if it's still at that sale price when you see this video, uh, links below if you guys want to support the channel. This is great. Again, this is one of the best flashlights you could pick up if you want to, you know, have something that can see down range far as you saw in that video. Uh, you're taking a walk. You're going to see who's coming around the corner because of the spill on this thing. Uh, just nothing's really going to hide for me with this one. And also, if you have those radios that I showed you, um, it pairs perfectly with them. I find that nice, especially in an emergency situation. You could take this battery out and use it in that emergency radio and vice versa. Uh, it's just nice to have those options available to you. Um, so that's a, a big plus in my book. Uh, so yeah, that that's a big one right there, the price. Uh, momentary operation. I really like having that. Um, I find that very handy. Uh, and of course, it's mode memory. So uh, having and going right to turbo. You know, with the tail without having to engage it. Um, so you can do a fairly quiet. I mean, it's not super silent. You can still hear a little bit of the jacket. But I'm sure as you break it in, it'll get quieter. So um, Also, what do I like? The Type-C fast charging. Um, when I saw it charging at 1.6 amps, I was pretty excited about that because that's a, a quick charge. As long as your battery can handle it, like, say, this flat-top Molly cell, so no problem handling a 2-amp charge. Uh, this thing can output up to 35 amps, I believe, or 30 amps. 
This is a bad boy right here. Um, when I have a problem with a flashlight that I can't handle the battery, I put this in there and it's perfect. Everything works great. So something to think about if you have a problem with your battery. Um, so also uh, it uses like again all 18650 types. You can use this in there. Uh, as long as your battery can support the six amps, you can get the uh, protected button tops. But they have to support uh, up to six amp uh, rate. This one here doesn't say. Um, this is definitely probably not supported. But there are ones that say up to 10 amps is what you want. So that's a plus. Uh, another plus I like is the uh, battery status LED. I think that's nice. Telling us uh, what life we have left. It would, it, it's just a glance when you just momentary tap. You can just see what, what's going on. Uh, that is handy. And of course, mode memory, like I showed you. It's always going to eco right now as a momentary here. I'm not blinding myself. And of course, the grip is great for gloved hands. Um, just a strong grip. It's probably, like I said, one of the most aggressive grips I've seen in a flashlight. Uh, dislikes. Um, the tail protrudes. Um, that's a problem. You know, I can engage it by tapping it on a surface. Now, that's not uh, the greatest thing. Hopefully, that's improved. Um, that would be uh, definitely an area I'd want to improve on. Also, uh, it needs electronic lockout, especially maybe from the mode. You're not going to really lock out the tail, but at least from the mode switch, um, so you can't change anything. Um, might That might be handy to some people, but I think just turning it like that is enough to keep you from turning it on. It's not a big deal to turn that little bit. It's just a tiny little bit. So there you go. Um, a moon mode, maybe like a half lumen or one lumen. You know, I know it says 10, but even lower would be fantastic. You know, have one that has a uh, hundred days, <laughs> you know, or 30 days, you know, they have those months. It lasts a month on half a lumen. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I'd like to see that. That'd be neat. Um, and of course, yeah, I mentioned the beam pattern I like. So but that's about it for the dislikes uh, and wants on this flashlight. Overall, for 32 bucks, it's a winner. Uh, it gets a top vote for me, um, definitely because it's cross-compatible with my other radios. And the fact that the beam is just amazing. Uh, and, and the output and the modes are very usable. Uh, the medium, low, eco, and the high mode. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have to use turbo all the time. High will work uh, for most cases. High is quite a bit. 800 lumens gets a lot done. So, But overall, it gets a top vote. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Uh, two, if you like Workos, you like the brand. I'm a fan. I've been a fan of Workos flashlights for quite a while since I started reviewing flashlights on this channel. I went to Workos and I really like their stuff. So uh, they make, again, it's, I think it's similar to the Sofern company. Um, so they might work together to design flashlights. But uh, yeah, I like the quality. Uh, I like what they put out there. I mean, you know, this, this is another beast everybody has and loves. You know, just great flashlights uh, to have around the house, uh, in the field, uh, wherever you're going. But uh, this one here just takes it up a notch with the tactical style tail. Loving that. So uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe to the bell icon. More reviews and comparisons. Outdoor adventures. <laughs> and of course, three, come up below. You think about the TD-05. Would you add it to your toolbox? Is this something you like? Let me know. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.